वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मिसिस ईशा ठाकरे एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द एस क्यू एल सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट यूजिंग लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स वॉट इज द बेसिकली एस क्यू एल सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट यूज फॉर द एस क्यू एल सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज यूज टू फेच और रिट्रीव द डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा बेसिस एस क्यू एल स्टेटमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू फेच ऑल द डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा बेसिस फॉर एनी लार्ज डेटा बेसिस और इन द ओराकल सर्वर or the sql this is the syntax for the basic sql select statement so what is the sql basic select statement this syntax is basically used to retrieve the specific fields from the table so the select column 1 column 2 from table name now this is a basic syntax what are the columns 1 and column 2 these are the fields the attributes of the table Select column one, column two. It has the any number of if you have n number of fields, so you can provide the n number of fields. Now suppose in your database, if you want to fetch only two columns, suppose your database consists of the name, ID of the student, and the city state, but you want to fetch only the ID and roll number of the student or the city or the address, then only that specific columns need to be mentioned over there. okay and the table name table name is the database name from where you need to fetch the data from the table next is this is a example for the basic select statement you will see select s name suppose uh, city from student the information of the student with their name and city need to be fetched so select s name city and from the student this is the Select statement. Okay. 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 So this is the basic select statement. An example. In this select statement, we can fetch only the S name and city from the student table. Now the next is the. So, uh, this is an example. This syntax is used to retrieve all the columns or fields from the table. Now, in the previous syntax, we have seen if we need to fetch only the specific fields, then we have specified the column one, column two. But what about if you want to fetch all the data? So, unnecessarily wasting the time in writing the all the fields, and in the large databases, it's not possible to write ev each and every field name. So. Here, the Oracle or the SQL Server provides an option of this star. Select star from table name. When you provide a star over here, this means all the values of the database will be fetched from the table. Okay. So the example is select star from table name. Now, in the select star from table name, whatever the fields means, ID, roll number, name, city, all these fields will be fetched from the database. now how we will restrict the data in the sql now restricting the data in the sql is done with the help of the where clause now what is the where clause provides the database contains a large amount of data but if you want only the specific fields to be retrieved from the database at that particular moment we could use a where clause so basically this where clause is used to filter out the data or to restrict the data and on this only those records are being extracted which fulfill a specified condition means in the where clause we need to specify the condition so this is the syntax select column 1 column 2 from table name where condition in the basic syntax there was this where condition was optional but where we need to restrict the data we need to provide the where condition so as an example if i want to fetch the students information about the students is roll number is 2 so what will be the query related to it select star from student where roll number equal to 2 now star means what the star will indicate that we need to fetch all the information about the student whose roll number is 2 not about the students about all the students but only the student whose roll number is 2 only that information will be fetched now 
logical operators in sql this is a very important topic why we need the logical operators in sql previously we had seen the where clause but in where we provide a condition but what about if we require the multiple conditions so where clause helps us to combine the multiple conditions with the help of the and or and not operators these and or not are the logical operators which can be used in the select statement where in the where clause now let's see the first logical operator that is the and operator so what does this and operator provides and where we could use this and operator and operator displays a record if all the conditions separated by and are true so this all keyword is very important because what happens if whatever the conditions we are providing all the conditions need to be true if any of the condition is false then with the rows will not be fetched suppose if we have one and one so what will be the output here the output will be one okay if any of the condition is false suppose if it is true and true that is true but what about if it is true and false the output will be false what about if false and true that will also be output will be false and what about the if the condition is both the conditions are false then you will not get the output in short both the conditions all the conditions are true only at that particular moment the values will be fetched let's see the syntax this is the syntax for the select statement here only we will see the basic syntax is common but here the condition 1 and condition 2 and condition 3 you will get the output when all the condition 1 condition 2 and condition 3 will be satisfied if any of the condition gets failed you will not get the output so this is a sample database where we have the fields sid roll number student name city and gender and five six records are inserted in it let's see an example suppose if the example is find a list of female students who are from mumbai so we need to fetch only the what is the query the first criteria is that i want only the female students okay that means the girl students and who are from the mumbai these are my two conditions so how will i satisfy it select star from student this is my basic syntax where city equals to mumbai and gender equals to female means both the conditions should be satisfied if any of the students is from delhi but the gender is female then that rows will not be fetched both the conditions need to be satisfied so the next operator is this will be the output here in this output we will see there is a mumbai and the female means only those rows those students who are female and from the mumbai those records are being fetched next is the sql or operator now what happens in this sql or operator it displays a record if any of the condition is satisfied if it is true means again true and true it is true if true and false if any of the condition means here if it is true then you will get the output as true here if it is false and true then also you will get the output as true and true you will get the output as true true and false you will get the output as true then false and true you will get the output as true and false and false you will get the output as false means in this conditions where if any of the condition is true you will get the output as true so this is the sql or operator next we will see the syntax the syntax is basically the same here we are using the condition 1 or condition 2 or condition 3 if any of the condition gets satisfied then we can the you will get the output the next is the example find the list of students who are either from delhi or from pune so in this particular statement we want the list of the students who are from delhi or from for from pune now the students cannot be in both the cities from delhi also as well as from the pune they need to be either from the delhi or the from the pune both the conditions cannot be satisfied so here we have used the or operator 
द सिटी इक्वल्स टू दिल्ली एंड द सिटी इक्वल्स टू पुणे एंड फॉर ज्वाइनिंग दीज टू कंडीशन वी हैव यूज द और ऑपरेटर so this is the output here we have seen the male gender is male and the one of the city is delhi and other is the pune next is the last operator that is the sql not operator this is the last logical operator it displays a record if the condition is not true okay so if we want this is the select statement syntax where not condition so not condition means what the negation of a statement previously we had seen the example of the students who are from mumbai but we want the list of the students who are not from the mumbai so here we will be using the negation that is the not operator so sql not operator is used the example is there find the list of the students other than mumbai so simple here my condition is where not city equals to mumbai is that clear so this will be the output here we can see the list of the data information list of the students there the students are from delhi from pune from chennai but they are not from the mumbai city so this is all about the logical operators thank you